Center, part of uh, TO Live's venues, and we're, we're, we're doing a site inspection today from the perspective of a corporate private event. So this is, if you can't make it down, <laughs> excuse me, um, we're just, we're doing these site venues, or the site visits, we'll throw them up on our YouTube channel, you can have a look and you don't necessarily have to come down, but of course we'll welcome you if you do come down. Uh, not showing in the best of light today, we've got a lot of construction going on, but I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do another one when that's all completed. There's, there's all new washrooms going in here, we've got half of them done, but with the pandemic, there's been a lot of uh, supply chain issues, so there's delays on that. Once that gets done, we'll throw up another, we'll replace this one with another one. So come on in, let's check out all our spaces here. We're up in North York, we're at 5040 Young Street, North York. Again, this is our uptown venue, we've got two downtown, Meridian Hall and St. Lawrence Center. Right now, we're at the Marine Arts Center. Follow me. The first, the first venue we step into, that's our main entrance. There is, there is another door that you could use as, as a corporate client. You could use the other entrance, but Studio Theater is right here. It's got a cool little lobby with a bar. And this is our smallest theater space, black box space, but you see some furniture here. We do have odds and ends of furniture and uh, you are welcome to use that. But if you need anything else, we have suppliers that can bring in pretty much anything that you can imagine. So let's check out the theater space here. space. These seats that you see can be pushed back accordion style and then it would just it just reveals an, just an empty black box space. The cyclorama at the back and then <clears throat> there is space to go back. You go back out there into some dressing rooms, a couple dressing rooms for this space, uh, green room and I, we won't show you all the dressing rooms but we'll show you some at the end but just each space, each of the main four spaces come with dressing rooms uh, in some semblance of a green room. So 183 seats in here. You've got you know, an upper level that you can have people up there as well. Um, you can light this up. Uh, you got lighting and sound in here. That we, we do have our own in-house production crew that uh, would take care of all that for you. So just a, one, our small space right inside the entrance. We're gonna go on. We're gonna go for a long walk now to the Greenwind Theater. Once again, while I have you right here, right at the start, behind the camera is Black Fun Yukobo. You will hear her walking along with her with her nice boots throughout today. But again, this is a site inspection. It's like you came down here. I'm going to walk through you, walk through with you. We're not editing anything. But Black Fun is our uh, social media specialist. She's a producer of these this video series. She's also the producer of the podcast. She also does digital signage. She does all kinds of things around here. So thank you, Black Fun for helping me out here. I got the thumbs up. <laughs> so it, it is a, this lobby space, I mean, you, you gotta take a peek at this. It's open and airy and contemporary. Um, somebody's gotta come in here and have a, a full out reception party in this, just this lobby space. Um, you got an upper level, a lower level, and it just goes all the way down there. You got a curved lounge here. We're not going to see much of that today. Again, when we do this again, you'll see this uh, when the construction is moved out. But there's a nice cool lounge that goes to that other entrance that I talked about. But it's just a really cool lobby. Greenway. You'll see behind me this bar. So the four main spaces in here, we still got studio, next is Greenwind Theater, then Lyric Theater, and the recital hall down the way. So this is a nice 
uh, uniquely shaped bar here that if, say, there was two simultaneous events going on, Lyric and Greenwood, in the corporate world, it doesn't happen often, but if it did, they'd have to share this bar if, if that was something, if they had two receptions. Again, we make sure that that doesn't happen in the corporate world, so one or the other would use this space as a networking space, a, a uh, bar space, and then there's another bar further down for the recital hall, and as you saw, the studio has its own bar. And we're going in here to the, the green one first. We also brand new coat check, and it's it's a it's a high end system. It looks more like a one of those uh, high end dry cleaner places. It has the things on a track that go automatically. So coat checks there. And then as I said, we we completed half of our washers. The washers are awesome. Uh, so half those these side washers are done. And west side. Uh, May, I believe, is the slated completion time, completion date for that. All righty, Green Wind Theater. Got a little bit of a jaunt down here. What happened uh, way back? I'm going to say roughly 2015. There used to be a large theater space in here, uh, roughly 2,500 people, but they felt that they would be better utilized within the community to, to take that space and split it in half. And that made the green one and the Lyric. Green one's got 296 seats. The Lyric's got 561. So follow me down this hallway. sneak peek at the back of the Lyric there. That's the backstage um, of the Lyric, the, the back of the stage. Okay, while you look here in the dark, I'm going to get some lights here for a sec. Theater, 296 seats. Again, this can be, see these seats can disappear. There's a floor that goes over top of that. Those other seats go back accordion style and it becomes a, just a empty room, black box room. We've had small dinners in here, uh, but a lot of times it's used as ancillary space to say a big conference that's either in the Lyric or the recital hall and then we'll use this for breakout space. But uh, I mean, either way, it can be set up theater style banquet style when, the, when the, the seats are gone, or a reception in here. It's got a cyclorama, but lighting, sound, all that production comes with it, so anything you need. We've also done some film shoots in here. I'm gonna go back out. We're gonna take that trek back. And we'll check out the lyric. All these doors opened up. It, it is a maze down here. Now we, back in 2017, Clyde, Wag, Clyde, Clyde Wagner, who is our CEO, came on board and we started this company that amalgamated the three city of Toronto theaters. As I said before, we got Meridian Arts Center that we're in, Meridian Hall and St. Lawrence Center downtown. Uh, Meridian Hall used to be the Sony Center, Meridian Arts Center that we're in used to be Toronto Center for the Arts. But they amalgamated 
and and we there was a management company. It was called Civic Theaters Toronto to start. Now it's called To Live, and we manage the three city of Tr Toronto theaters. Okay, so we, there is some work going on in the, in the lyric, so we'll just have to be cautious of that. So right beside the green one entrance, entrance to the lyric. This, this is, uh, I like this theater the best, actually. It's just the most contemporary, modern looking. You see the walls, there's LED panel on the walls, and you see how they're lit up right now, color. You can, you can even put images on there, um, but, but you, can, you can get that so that it's beaten to the beat of the, of the music. We have a lot of dance competitions in here, and, and uh, it's proscenium stage, so like that. So in this space, 561 seats, 467 down below, 94 up top. We'll, we'll show you up top uh, later, but it's a, it's a cool balcony up there. And it's got its own uh, private bar up there, which is very cool. But just come on and have a walk here quickly. Just as you turn around, just have, have a look up top. I mean, this is an intimate space. So, for 561 people, and, and you're, you know, you see a comedian here for a public show, but uh, we have, we've got a couple, we've got an AGM coming up this month. We have a lot of town halls, corporate, and uh, it's, it's good space for that corporate event. We'll get out of here as the guys are doing some work. We'll check out the balcony a bit. It never fails when we're doing these site inspections. And, and hey, it's the same way if you were to come down here, but it never fails. We, we, there's always stuff going on. The last time we did Marine Hall, there was guys throwing around uh, fencing standards out front that was so loud. And of course, these guys start backing up while we're doing this. <laughs> All the, all the pipe and drape here is part of the construction, so once we're, once those projects are done, that'll be all gone. This is that other entrance. So as a corporate event, um, and you, you can if you check out that entrance there, uh, as a corporate event, you could certainly, we could, we could make that your entrance, say if you had the recital hall booked, that, that's the closest in proximity, so we'd let you use that entrance. space, a concert hall. This is a George Weston recital hall. Uh, well, come on up here. I'm going to show you something here. There's 1,036 total seats in here. 636 on the orchestra level. However, if you come on up. Uh, 
this is this is a cool space. I know I am I have a biased opinion, but in, in the time that I've been here, I've been around for 12 years. Started in 2010 at the Sony Center alone, and so 2017 when we came up here. So I'm still still becoming more and more familiar with these spaces, but this is just a cool feeling to be in this space. Uh, in here, we do a lot of convocations. Uh, we'll do. AGMs will have this as part of like the, the uh, plenary space for a big conference. So 1,036 total, but if you look up top, I, I, I would typically say you got 901 seats in here that's looking directly at the stage. Up top, you've got the choir loft at the back, which is 85 seats, and you've got the, the wings that go up to the point of the, where the stage, the apron of the stage starts. That's another 50 seats. So you have 135 seats that are, in essence, wrapping the back of the stage. So if you didn't want somebody kind of at the back of your presenter, um, then it's 901. But depending on your event, a lot of the convocations will use that anyway. Uh, and it certainly makes sense in, in the convocation sense. But you could have a dinner on the stage if you chose to do so. I think, I think without the walls, we could do about 200 people on the on the stage, 130 at rounds of 10. Uh, we've not had one of those in my time here, and I don't think there ever has been. But just another interesting space and our biggest space. Now, because of the construction, I would normally show you, you know, the lyric and then its balcony and upper upper level, and as, as well as recital hall. We're going to check out. And the gallery space, we have two ancillary spaces just outside of here, the upper and lower gallery. We'll go to the lower gallery, show you that, go to upper gallery, and then I'll show you the, the uh, upper level, which includes, you know, for the recital hall and the Lyric Theater. So we'll go out here to the galleries. door just opened up on its own as I am going through there. So again, bar here, you got some lobby space both up and down if you were to have a reception as part of an event that was happening in the recital hall. to the second level. 
level, which actually is blocked off right now because of construction. And just before I show you that room, I'm, I'm going to have you, you can check out what I meant by the choir loft and the wings. You are right in the choir loft and the wings. So have a, have a look at that while I turn the lights on here in the VIP lounge. I'll be right there. So again, up top here, choir loft, 135, and, and there's 25 seats here and 25 seats over there. So, sorry, choir loft 85, 25, 25 to make up 135. So take that off the 1,036 and you got 901 from the edge of the apron of the stage looking in. But, pretty cool. So imagine you got a corporate gig in here, you got a keynote speaker and Let's say it is, well, I, I won't even say anybody for fear of half you people not appreciating that choice. You got a really high-end keynote speaker. You need a place for that person to go. So your CEO can come up here with a keynote speaker into the VIP lounge. Just a nice intimate space. You got some couches, you got a bar, uh, full washrooms in there. Everything's self-contained. You can go down the stairs into the back of house and slip in the back uh, onto the stage from, from back of house. You can go down the elevator, out through here. Um, several different options. And, and you know, I, so I'm going to show you the upper level of the Lyric Theater. Um, if you were to go back do, down through that way, again, all of them have dressing rooms uh, and some semblance of a green room. 
Uh, but I'm not going to show you that. I will save that for when we do this, when the construction is done, and we'll, we'll show you the whole thing. But just one more stop at the upper level of the Lyric Theater. certainly have 94 people in a reception here to get VIPs or something like that but you can use this for anything you want but it's just a nice uh, area that's like kind of off the uh, off, off the beaten path so to speak nice little bar area. and we'll just we will end with just giving the view from the balcony on the lyric in the lyric Seat. This this is a, a, a very cool view up here. So you could have 94 VIPs up here with their own private area, or you could do anything else that you want. But again, we're going to come back to you. We're going to drop this in a couple weeks, so you have this to look at for now. But we will we'll do another one down the road, so you see it without the construction. Um, thanks for coming by. If if you need anything, there's a uh, my emails at the end of the clip. Feel free to shoot me an email. Thank you.